Hey guys, Anthony Pietrabona here back with another video. And in today's video, I just wanna share my full strategy that I use to exponentially grow my own wealth as well as others and show the full transparency of all the strategies that I use combined to continue to grow at a faster rate than the market. If you're looking to build your wealth in the stock market with options trading, day trading, or swing trading, you're going to want to subscribe. Hit that thumbs up if you appreciate it and let's dive into the charts. This is a four part strategy and I go point by point to go into depth and then show examples at the end of how this whole strategy would actually run. So the first step is to have 90% of capital fully invested in one to three high conviction, high growth stocks. Now, this is just personally what I do. None of this is financial advice. I'm showing the strategy that I personally use for my Myself, my family and others to grow at a faster rate than the market aiming for over 20% returns each year honestly more towards 50% returns per year this isn't something for people who do not plan on trading if you want to take your trading full-time then this is something you may want to use but if you're just starting out, this isn't the video for you. If you don't know how to build conviction in high growth stocks, then click the link in the video. I have a full video detailing how to choose the best growth stocks for long-term growth. You wanna watch that video to learn how to choose the best stocks to go for that 20 to 30% or greater annual returns each year. If you have another income source that can cover your expenses, then this is a good strategy potentially for you. If you don't have the stability with a job to cover your expenses and you're worried that you're gonna need money in the future, then this will not be a strategy for you. You'd likely want to have more cash on the sidelines to be able to sleep at night. If you're able to withstand a lot of stress and volatility, then this could be a strategy for you. If you're unable to do that, again, this will not likely be a strategy for you. Personally, what this looks like for me is 90% of all my capital invested into one stock, and that is Tesla stock. This stems off of all the greatest investors honestly saying that diversification is protection against ignorance. This is a direct quote from Warren Buffett. He has made most of his wealth in three companies, and he actually preaches this, even though he's diversified now, it's because he has so many billions. If you do not know what you're doing, it's best to diversify to protect yourself in case there's big drawdowns. But if you really spend a lot of time educating yourself, then it's best to honestly just diversify into three, maybe five names max. The second step is to use five to 10% of total capital for leap options when anticipating strength in names for the coming one to six months. Now, you've seen me use this in the previous video where I took the Tesla trade and I saw RSI high, I saw an explosive movement coming, so I used 10% of my capital for leap options expiring in almost one year. And if you don't know what a leap option is, it's options that are expiring longer than eight months. And the reason why leap options are so powerful is because the theta decay each day is so low. If you don't know what theta is, there's a lot of great videos discussing how options are priced. So search up the Greeks for options and you'll learn all you need to know. The five to 10% of capital is sitting in cash, waiting for opportunities to come up where we have high conviction in an explosive move upwards coming for a specific stock. And when we see that, then we use five to 10% of our capital in these opportunities. Personally, I'll spread this over two, three, maybe four different trades, or if I have really high conviction, I might do all 10% in one trade and hold it for a month or so, and then take the profits and go back to cash until I see a great opportunity. This one will take a lot of time learning, and I would actually use a much smaller percent of capital per trade. If you don't know much about this at all, I would use a maximum of one to 2% per trade in these leap options. And as a tip, always choose an at the money strike. Do not choose an out of the money strike. If you see Tesla stock, hit 1000 and you think it's going to go to 1100 do not choose the 1100 or the 1200 strike choose the 1000 or something in the 900s because it's going to hold much more of the value each day if the stock stays the same and trades sideways because if it trades sideways and you choose an out of the money option you're going to lose a lot of value or when volatility contracts so search up how to trade leap options effectively and you'll learn all about them but as again as a pro tip choose an at the money strike do not go out of the money and definitely choose uh, 12 months or greater for the expiration if you believe that there's a move coming in the next one to six months. This will save you a lot of potential losses. When there's an explosive 10% or 20% move in these stocks, your leap options can go up 100%. So you can double your money on these leap options with a 10 to 20% move in the stock if it occurs over the next one to six months. If you're buying options, if a stock goes down, it goes against you, you can 
also lose a significant portion, 20 to 50% of your value. I cut losses no matter what, if the value decreases by 50%. Now I definitely want to manage a position before it gets to that. I'll look at the charts, see if there's any signs. Maybe I was wrong, right? You have to be able to admit you're wrong and cut losses. If you do not know how to cut losses, then this also is a very dangerous strategy for you. The third step is to use one to two times leverage of capital used for selling options with two to four weeks until expiration. This sounds extremely dangerous. It's a lot less dangerous if you know what you're doing. You can manage your risk effectively and not actually take significant losses while steadily growing your account month to month. I'm not saying to use leverage. This is not financial advice. I'm just sharing the strategy that I personally use. If you have a $100,000 stock portfolio and it's fully invested invested in those one to three high conviction names, then you use an additional 100 to $200,000 to sell options that are expiring in two to four weeks. If you look at my previous videos where I talked about how to make 5k a month selling options, this is what I'm talking about. And I'll link that video in the card so you can go watch that. What this strategy actually does for you is it typically brings in about 1% every two weeks or 2% every two weeks by selling these options with two to four weeks until expiration. And I showed examples of that in the video that's linked in the card. So you're gonna to wanna to go watch that. What's really cool is if you use 1X leverage on the 100,000, you can bring in two to 4% returns on that leveraged capital without paying interest on the margin. If you know what you're doing and the trades are going well, again, something we're gonna to have to learn over time. So don't actually use one to two X leverage, use a much smaller amount of leverage while you're learning or just put on theoretical trades. You can paper trade, remember? You can totally paper trade. You, know, you can say, hey, I think Blink is not going to fall below $30 in the next two weeks. Let me sell a put at the 29 strike and see how that plays out. Do it theoretically, just write it down and then follow it along until expiration and see if the trade actually worked out and that expired worthless and you kept all the money. Do this over enough periods of time, then you can graduate to using some leverage or use no leverage and just keep more in cash and use some of your cash to put on these trades. Once you build up consistency and say, hey, you know what, I, I think I can know what I'm doing. After you're able to manage losses, if you can react well, cut losses quickly when things are not going your way, then I think you can graduate towards using your real money to put on these trades because you don't wanna be putting on trades theoretically See that everything's going well and you're like, wow, this is easy. Then using your own money and then scaling big and then taking just a huge loss because you didn't actually go through any scenarios where things really didn't go your way whatsoever. That's really when you know what you're doing. If you can weather those storms, then it's time to use your own capital and potentially graduate to using leverage. If you have 100,000 invested and you're making 2% a month, that's 2,000 a month on money that is not yours. So you're making 2% returns each month on top of the gains for the actual stock you own, on top of the potential gains you're making from the leap options with five to 10% of your own capital. You combine those three things and you can quickly see how you can average 50% returns per year. The fourth step is to keep snowballing all the gains in the accounts to buy more shares. So when you're making money with the leaps and you're making the 2% a month in income with the options you're selling, you're gonna use that capital to add to your one to three high conviction names. You're just growing this nest egg as you trade with a smaller percentage of your portfolio to be able to buy more shares and continue to increase the amount of buying power you're able to use. Because if you're adding shares to these one to three names, well, guess what? That 100,000 is turning into 120,000. And then it's turning to 150,000. And when you hit 150,000, oh look, you can now use 150,000 to 300,000 in leverage to sell more options to make more money. And then in a few years, the 100,000 turns into 500,000 and you're using 2X leverage on the 500,000. Well, now you're using 1 million to make 2% a month and you're making the 20,000 US per month by selling the options. And now you're using that money to buy even more shares. You can quickly see how this is a extreme exponential snowball that grows into something you could not even fathom. Nothing is perfect, so this isn't a perfect strategy. You can take losses, and losses are inevitable. The key is to manage the losers so they don't turn into big losers, so that way you can continue to average 25 to 50% returns each year with these three strategies, 
and snowballing the gains into more. Here's the example on a bigger scale, and we can just reduce it down to whatever scale fits best for your scenario. This is an account with 800 shares of Tesla stock in it. It's worth 1 million US. This is the only position we have in this account. We use a little more than two to one leverage. So we use a little more than 2 million US worth of buying power to put on all these positions expiring in the middle or the end of November. All these positions were put on about a week ago. We're able to do this without using any margin. It's just the buying power because you're not charged interest on the loan if you're not using the margin to buy stock. If you do not buy stock, you just sell options, then you're not charged any interest on the loan. So if you just manage the positions and make sure you don't take significant losses by letting it expire, deeply in the money, then you're going to be okay. The first position here is on a firm, 50 contracts, average price of $4. So what we do is we do $4 times 50, and that equals 20,000 US. As long as the firm is above 120 and below 200 by the end of November, this expires worthless and we keep our 20,000 US. Mara, this was $3.83 per contract times 30 contracts. That equals 11,000 US. So this was worth 11,000 and it has decreased in value, which is good for us, which means that as long as Mara is above 50 and below 80 by, by November 19th, then we keep all this premium and it expires worthless. Another trade is on Riot expiring November 12th and it's the 25 put. As long as Riot is above 25 by November 12th, we keep all the money. It was 20 contracts at a dollar each, which is about 2,100 that we collected here. Tesla, short strangle. As long as Tesla is above 990 and below 1300 by November 19th, then we keep all of the premium. And the premium was 42.48. You times that by 100, it equals about 4,300 US and that it will expire worthless as long as Tesla stays within that range by that date. Next trade is on Blink. It is November 26th expiration. As long as it is above 27 and below 42, we keep all the premium. We collected $1.39 each times 100 equals 13,900. Next one on a firm expiration, November 12th. We put this trade on a little while ago, 10 contracts. As long as the firm is above 120 and below 195, we keep all the money. It was $8.30 times 10 contracts, which equals 8,300 US. Another trade is on coin expiring November 19th. As long as coin is above 295 and below 380 by November 19th, we keep all the premium. That was $17 per contract times four contracts. Works out to be around that $5,400 level. Next one again on Affirm. We clearly like Affirm here. We collected 490 per contract times 10 contracts equals 4,900 US. Another one on Affirm, above 130 and below 205 by November 19th, this expires worthless. We collected $5.20 times 10, which equals 5,200. Last one on Affirm, as long as it's above 130 and below 200 by November 19th, we keep all the money. We collected $5.70 per contract times five contracts, it would be about $2,700. And the last one here is on Robinhood. We did 35 strike put expire November 12th. As long as it's above 35 by November 12th, we keep all our money. We collected $2.46 for 30 contracts, which equals $7,134 that we collected here. We collected $20,000 from one of the Affirm positions, $11,000 from the Mar position, $2,000 from Riot, $4,000 from Tesla, $13,000 from Blink, $8,000 from another firm, $4,900 from another Affirm, $5,100 from another one, $2,800 from the last one, $6,800 from Coin, and $7,100 from Hood all expiring within two to four weeks of when I set the trades. This is a total of 87,128 US dollars collected in premium if they all expire worthless. This is an 8.7% return in two to four weeks on the 1 million US account. Now you can follow these trades and you can think about me when they go against me and, and you know that, hey, Anthony, you definitely had to take a loss on some of these. Obviously, some or a lot of these positions will go against me and I will have to take losses. This is what will bring this 8.7% re return down to about a two to 4% return. Even if we take some losses and this brings this 8% down to a 2% return, well, we're still earning 20,000 US in one month or less on money that isn't even ours. And that's the magic of the whole strategy. So if you can learn how stocks move, if you can learn to look at higher implied volatility names and kind of see what's the highest probability of the stock staying in this range, then you can take those trades and profit from it. Then what you would do is you would use this money to buy more shares of your higher conviction names 
continue the spiral even greater, get this 1 million to 2 million, start using 5 million leverage, making 100,000 a month using the 5 million leverage. The beauty about selling options is that if there's a bear market, you can sell more calls because stocks are falling. When there's a bull market, you can sell more puts because stocks are rising. You can make money in any market using the strategies of selling calls or selling puts. The toughest part is getting good at it. It's gonna require a lot of staring at charts. It's going to require a lot of psychological wounds, a lot of battles with your own mind. You're gonna to have to go through a lot of trials and tribulations to come out on top, to build consistency, to get to that 2% return a month using these strategies. Start small and then combine the four strategies to achieve financial freedom over the long term. Give this video a thumbs up if you appreciate the transparency. I wanna help you build your own portfolio to achieve financial freedom. So if that's something you wanna do, you're gonna to wanna to subscribe for more strategies just like this. Thanks so much for your support and I'll see you in the next video.